So my name is Alex Nunez and I am the uh, program manager at Bridging for Tomorrow and I also run the Bridge of Light. What happens uh, here at the Bridge of Light is on every Tuesday and Thursday, um, the kids run from school to the house and we welcome them uh, with uh, a snack and a juice because they're hungry after school. We help them with homework. Uh, we, we, we help them with, with homework after doing homework. Uh, we have an hour or so of just reading, just reading with them, um, following along where they're at uh, in their reading levels. After reading with them, uh, we uh, have a character lesson. After the character lesson, uh, we have free time. So we're, we just kind of let loose and, and have fun. We started with just a few kids, a few families that some of us had known personally, and they were the ones who grew the program. We never promoted it or marketed it. It wasn't like a strategy of trying to go out and find people to come in. Um, it was these families who were enjoying it so much and seeing so many benefits with their kids that they told their neighbors, you should really come check this out. And it really just became a neighborhood club. A lot of the challenges that uh, the community faces of Northcliffe is um, not having the things that we take for granted. Most of them, uh, mom and dad have to work. So the children in the afternoons are left alone. Uh, if they didn't come to the program, they will be at home by themselves or on the street. A lot of the families are immigrants that have come and they still don't speak the language. So they have a hard time communicating with sometimes with the school and they have a hard time helping the children with homework. So what we try to do is cut that gap by providing what the parents sometimes cannot provide to the children. Every single kid like has a different story, you know, like they're they all come from different families, they all come from different stages of life. The the the, the consensus is that each one each kid has a horrible home life. But from that some of those kids are able to, to come here and as to quote little Darío who's, who's, who's 10, to say, when I come to club, I feel like I'm the person that I, that, I, that I am. I feel like I'm the person that I need to be. I'm a different Darío when I'm here. With a club like Bridge of Light, the intent is really to build into the kids. But the wonderful byproduct of that is that the families spend time there too and not only spend time with their children, but spend time with each other. And it's just been amazing to see many of these women come together, um, helping each other out. I think everybody wants that for their neighborhood, and so it's been really special to see that um, sort of born out of this club that we've started there. Uh, my name is Janet, and I have three girls. Their names are Janet, Jasmine, and Jennifer. And we've been coming here since October of 2014. Well, I... I'm a widow, so I have my three girls. I'm a single mom, yes. And this is a great program. It has helped uh, me and my girls a lot. Um, they have improved in school. They have good grades. I just want to say thank you. I'm very happy and pleased to have their help and have my kids in this program. It has been very helpful. The first time that I saw that God definitely had his hand on, on this and God was maneuvering all this, when one of the moms came, came came up to me and, and, and started telling me it was a horrible situation at home. There was a horrible situation at home. And then the son stood up and said, but dad, like, we're not here to destroy one another. We're here to love one another. And I was like, this is coming from a nine-year-old. He, he heard that from either my wife or myself or one of the volunteers here. And he's saying that, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of chaos. He's saying, he's standing up and, and doing that. If it wasn't for the support that Faith Bridge has with Bridging for Tomorrow and the love that they share with Bridging for Tomorrow, like it's like not, stuff like this wouldn't happen. We wouldn't have the opportunity to do stuff like this. It's, it's a blessing, man. It makes me feel extremely proud of what God is doing here.